Hi, I'm Mab Snobnyani and I'm a big fan of art and I'm hoping that walking through some of my favorite pieces in my home can ignite some of that same passion within you. Starting off with this piece, this is by a young artist called Banela Koza. He won the 2017 Jared Sokoto Art Award as well as the 2018 Taxi Foundation SA Art Award. But I acquired this piece about uh, two years ago. I've always loved his art and um, you know, saw him sort of coming through um, the ranks and coming into his own and how he's just established this quirky style. I love his, his doodling style in this piece. Um, and I, I think for me, what's really important first and foremost when it comes to art is does it resonate with you? Does it something that um, that stands out, is it something that you feel is uh, something you can look at every day and this is exactly that. But I also love that he's young and is South African which is something that I always try and push as much as possible whenever I'm looking at pieces and he's a great young uh, black South African artist to look out for. Now this next piece is something that really gets me excited too. It's a piece by Lebohang Mutaung who used to be a hairdresser, in fact she might still be a hairdresser, and she realized her talent um, when it came to working with her. And you might not realize it at first, but this en entire piece is made out of hair fiber completely. And that's just the most intricate and amazing detail and I think what really struck me with this one was firstly just the figure, what is figure thinking, what's the gaze um, and it's uh, something that's completely different and unique and then you just want to know how incredibly talented one needs to be to be able to work with hair like this and another young South African artist doing incredible work that I found at the Turbine Hall Art Fair actually. Look out for the events that are happening in your you know, local areas and do some research search and you might come across little quirky things like this. Now many people think that art is just confined to paintings and drawings but it comes in many different forms and mediums. This is my first sculpture uh, that I managed to acquire. It's a piece by an artist called Louise Kritzinger, also a South African artist, and it's a polymer resin cauliflower brain and it's once again unique, quirky, everyone just kind of wants to touch it and look at it. Whoever comes over here is scared of touching it, but they want to. And uh, you know, my friends end up interacting and they leave and it's one of their favorite things to look at. So also look at sculptures and it could be something that uh, could definitely play some sort of a part in enhancing your space. Last but not least, uh, this piece by Chris Valentine. It's a commission piece. So if you are loving a certain artist's style but you can't find the work that perhaps resonates with you, all the ones that do resonate with you that that particular artist has made are all sold, you can also get the artist to um, commission the piece for you. And I guess it makes it a whole lot more personal and sentimental and carries greater value in more ways than one. I think there's many different ways to, to fall in love with art and as you've seen and heard, I'm hoping you've realized in many ways you can also acquire art and from where you can go. There isn't only one way you can go to, of course, the traditional galleries, but you can also go online, go to auctions, and it doesn't have to be expensive. There's a piece of art out there for everyone at every price level. And um, you know, as you continue to grow throughout your life, throughout your career, and increase your art collection, then I think you can start spending a little bit more but um, for me I just try to keep it as um, affordable and as, as attainable as possible and just keep dreaming bigger. If you are around I'm looking forward to seeing you between the 15th and 17th of February at the Investor Cape Town Art Fair.